So we have these beautiful, just these are just stunning. Um, these cherry tomatoes from Kingfisher Farm. We visited Kingfisher Farm together. If you check out my page or Francesca's Twitter, you'll see some great pictures of us at Kingfisher Farm and Fermentation. They are a sheep farm, so they have lamb for sale, but also beautiful veggies. And we had a great time visiting with them. So Chris, I got to ask a million dollar question. I really want you to be our colleague here in January. <laughs> what made you decide to run again? Well, uh, so yeah, I ran for state Senate a couple years ago. That was a big decision. Yeah. Um, I am, I run a bed and breakfast. I did have an organic CSA operation for many years. Um, and we run sheep here. So we, there's, there's no, um, no lack of things to do here on the farm. I do have four kids that are grown and gone and a grand grandbaby that lives here. Um, I, I think the main thing is just the crisis yeah. in, in rural Wisconsin. We lose more than one dairy farm a day. I think we're up to two, two point something. Um, Did you say a day? A day in Wisconsin. That's it's, unacceptable. That is not acceptable. Um, and it's, it's not just the loss of dairy, which is heartbreaking in the dairy state, but when you lose farms and families from the land, you lose people. Yeah. So we don't have people to run our local governments. We don't have people to volunteer for all of the things that we do in these little villages. I, this village of Blanchardville is 825 people. Um, there's a saying that out here, it takes a village to run a village. <laughs> to keep these little towns running, everybody needs to participate and we're, we're losing people. We're losing kids. When we don't have farm families, we don't have kids. So our schools struggle. We, ha we don't have enough enrollment. Um, the funding formula is a per pupil situation. So we have less and less to work with. That's frustrating. Um, basically, I'm running because I love living here and I'm not willing to let this way of life disappear. And you're going to fight for it. I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to fight for these little towns and um, all of the all of the gorgeous, amazing, tiny towns in the Driftless because we've got something really special here that doesn't exist in other places. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna let it go without a fight. I love that. And I really want folks in Madison to hear about that because I do think that there's a lot more that urban and rural areas in Wisconsin have in common than people really give us credit for. Yeah, I think that we've spent too much time uh, feeling like one or the one or the other yeah. is stealing resources. And I hear all the time from the current legislators in my district that the reason we don't have good roads and the reason we don't have good schools is because Madison and Milwaukee are always stealing resources from us. And I just don't buy that. <laughs> I think it's time to stop talking about and pointing fingers <laughs> yeah. and actually getting to work and saying maybe austerity measures aren't working. Maybe we need to continue actually investing in all of these places so people have the tools to continue to fight for their communities and then thrive in them. Exactly. Mm -hmm.